Hey guys, it's WT here from the Corn Alley and just bringing you another video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't apply or order the Crypterium card. So first of all, in my last video where I did the unboxing of the MCO crypto.com card which first of all that is an amazing sexy it is a great product I've had nothing but um, good experience using that card I've never had an issue with the card and their customer service is amazing you can actually reach out to them through the app and um, generally you can get a response within 20 minutes or less, which is faster than, you know, reaching out to BitPay and getting support through their call center, which is a nightmare. Believe me, I've had to go through that several times. But uh, this video is about Crypterium. And full disclosure, I did order the Crypterium card on the 28th of July and I actually just got notification yesterday that my card was mailed and I should be receiving it sometime tomorrow which at this point I'm kinda regretting actually even purchasing or signing up for the Crypterium card and I'll tell you why so here are some of the positives, I guess, of the Crypterium card. Uh, they told the that their um, their claim on this is that the Crypterium card is a global card. It doesn't restrict boundaries, and the cards are currently being issued in over seventy five countries. Now, the downside is the cards are currently on the Union Pay network, so that's what makes it global. Um, apparently they were trying to reach an agreement with Visa and MasterCard and those uh, agreements um, didn't come to fruition at the time of launch. Now they're saying that they're the first company to issue a global payment card. Uh, I believe the first batch of these Crypterium cards they sent out about 5,000 of them and they were issued as a trial. You know just to see how adoption and how the cards are actually working out and I believe they're planning on sending out um, about 15 to 20,000 cards later on now one of the great things about the card itself is that they do have a process where you can cash out your your crypto or your balance um, to any MasterCard, so it could be a debit card or to uh, a debit card or credit card, uh, you could um, cash out using a MasterCard. So, now, my understanding is that once you order the card, and I ordered my card, I spent the extra $5 for the DHL delivery, right? And... Um, DHL, they're supposed to get the order to you within three business days. Now, that's three business days after you have actually, uh, your card has been um, created and printed and everything else. Now, the card itself looks like a prepaid card. You may have seen videos out there. It doesn't have the Crypterium logo on it. It's just a bare card with your account number, your name, and um, I think it has your name. And then it has the Union Pay logo. Now, Union Pay is uh, a Chinese network or a Chinese company. So they're very popular in China and parts of Asia. Now, when I went traveling a couple of years back, I was in Thailand, I was in uh, Japan and um, Hong Kong. Um, I did use my Discover card, and my Discover card uh, did work on the Union Pay Network. Um, so in Asia, the footprint, the acceptance rate for the Union Pay accounts or the cards that are on the Union Pay Network is much, 
more um, uh, the acceptance is much greater than it is over here in the United States. So typically, from what I've heard in regards to the Cryptarium card, is that once you do receive your card and you do attempt to load your card, it can take anywhere from one to three days for you to have access to your funds. Now, I don't know about you guys, but waiting five hours is outrageous to have your funds loaded onto your card. Can you imagine having to wait up to three days? Now, uh, there was a gentleman on, on here who who did a video on Cryptarium and he loaded his card and he attempted to use his card at Walmart and the transaction declined first because the confirmation hadn't uh, completed and then even after the confirmation had complete uh, was complete uh, his transaction actually still declined so uh, the acceptance rate in the United States is very very low um, for the most part it's not accepted at Walmart um, I think a majority of the places where you'll be able to use your union pay cryptarium card is maybe at a hotel um, or maybe at some shopping malls that are frequented by international guests because they will uh, accept union pay also most ATMs will um, allow you to withdraw funds uh, using uh, the uh, your your union pay card at the ATM many of the ATMs that I've seen they actually have the union pay logo and you're actually able to utilize your union pay card there so I must say that a positive to the cryptarium um, card or their brand is that their website is well put together it is very easy to navigate and the comparison on the website is uh, between the Cryptarium card and the other competing products are very uh, easy to navigate and compare so as you can see here on the left side you have the Cryptarium card and how it compares with Coinbase, CryptoPay and you can um, go across here and put it next to or have it lined up next to one of their competing products so here you have Cryptarium on the left you have crypto.com in the middle which is MCO and then you have BitPay and you can see how the products compare uh, Cryptarium states 0% um, international fees while BitPay does have a 3% fee on international transactions here you have the daily limits 10,000 on Cryptarium 25,000 or up to 25,000 on um, MCO crypto.com and then BitPay is 10,000 here you have the currencies that are supported um, this information for crypto.com is out of date it says Singapore only but now it's available also in the United States as of July 14th so uh, I did uh, I will leave this comparison link in the description of this video so you guys can check it out but I wanted you guys to know about uh, crypto.com or not crypto.com but cryptarium and why you shouldn't uh, um, apply or order the cryptarium card because of the lack of acceptance and also the the fact that you know you're limited to possibly only getting cash from an ATM you wouldn't be able to purchase anything um, at all for the most part I believe family dollar I read you could use your card at family dollar so if you frequent family dollar then that might be a place that you'd be able to use your card but you know most of you who are getting a, a crypto debit card you're not doing so just to be able to get cash at an ATM you want to be able to use it online maybe at a restaurant and so on but you know I would say if you're looking for something to use you're looking for a card with greater acceptance I would definitely say the crypto.com card is definitely one of the better cards out there in my experience now it has worked very well for me 
Um, I can only tell you about my experience. So, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But I just want to let you guys know about the experience with the Crypterium. Um, also, their customer service is deplorable. I have had a terrible uh, time going back and forth with them about the status. I had messaged them on Twitter asking for a status update on the order status of my card, and they were pretty much, well, the system we use to look up that type of information is currently unavailable, and they sent me a ticket number, which led nowhere, and then the whole ticket platform on the Zendesk just vanished. So it was a, it's a horrible experience. Um, I hope for you guys wouldn't have to go through any of that. But I just wanted to get that out there to you guys um, because I had mentioned in my Crypto.com video that I was getting the Crypterium card and I'm still waiting for that card. So it should arrive tomorrow. I did receive an email from DHL and it should be arriving by end of business tomorrow. So guys, uh, how many of you out there actually have the Crypterium card? What are your thoughts? Um, have you encountered any issues? Um, have you had success in actually using at a, at a point of sale location? Uh, any issues at the ATM? Drop those comments um, below in this uh, video so we can get the discussion started regarding the Crypterium card. All right, guys, that's all I had for this video. It was, uh, I try to keep it as short as possible. Uh, but if you had any questions about uh, Crypterium card, I may mean, not be able to answer a lot of those questions, but if you have questions about the Crypto.com card, then leave those comments and I'll be able to respond. All right, until our next video, take care of yourself, guys, and of course, each other.